Hey friends, it's a pretty hot day here in this neighborhood, but I'd like to show you something. I've been doing a lot of different and interesting exercises for the Adventure Racing Project, and I've learned a lot about how our muscles work, and I'd like to share that with you. This is my leg, okay? Uh, our legs are made up of a bunch of different parts. There's a bone that runs through here. The bone is the hard part of your body parts. The bone is the hard part of our bodies. And they're what allow us to stand and stay upright. The soft, squishy, meaty bits of our bodies are the muscles. There are six muscles that make up my leg right here that allow my legs and feet to move. This big muscle right here is called the gastrocnemius muscle. We typically call this the calf muscle. Whenever I want to move parts of my leg, the gastrocnemius muscle contracts or relaxes, and that's what allows me to move. For example, if I want to move my foot down or up, when I want to move my foot down or up, the gastrocnemius muscle squeezes and relaxes to allow me to move it back and forth. So this would be, this would be relaxing. Nope. This would be contracting and this would be relaxing. Contracting, relaxing. How, do, how does it do that? So I'm making a choice to move my leg in a certain way. And that choice comes from my brain. And what's happening when you make a decision to move, when you make a decision to move, your brain sends a little tiny bolt of electricity down your spine to where the muscle is. And that little bit of electricity is enough to contract the muscle, it's enough to cause it to spasm, to, to, to get smaller, to squeeze, to contract. And that's what allows that movement to happen. Isn't that, isn't that mind blowing? When I choose to move my foot down like that, my brain is sending a little bit of electricity down my spine, into my muscle right here, into the gastrocnemius muscle, and that's causing it to squeeze. And when it squeezes like that, my foot goes down. And there's another muscle right here called the tibialis anterior muscle. And when I want to move my foot the other way, my brain sends a little signal to this muscle to contract, to get smaller. And it causes my foot to go up this way. And in doing so, relaxes the gastrocnemius muscle. So how does that really happen? Well, whenever my gastrocnemius muscle gets smaller, that pulls another part of my leg right here and pulls up on my heel of my foot. So when I choose to move my foot downward, my heel is gonna move upward because my gastrocnemius muscle is pulling on this part of my leg, which is pulling on the heel. And that's basically how all of your muscles work. Isn't that crazy? I'd like to show you something else. This is a device, a tool, called an electrostimulator. All right, I told you a second ago that when you move your muscles, what's happening is your brain is sending little jolts of electricity to your muscles that tells them to contract. And that's what causes you to move. So what I have here is called an electrostimulator. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna send an electrical signal to my muscles and you're going to literally watch my muscles contract. 
Okay, ready? Kids, do not try this at home. Okay. <laughs> okay, do you see that? Did you see that? Okay, this is me not moving, okay? You ready? You're gonna see my cat, you're gonna see my gastric medius muscle contract. Do you see that? How it got smaller right there? And there's relaxing, contracting, relaxing, contracting, relaxing. What this device does is it sends little bits of electricity so your brain does not have to do it to your muscles so that you can, uh, it's for doing a lot of different things. It's for doing, it's a lot of medical purposes and it's not something we need to worry about, but that's what's happening. And I thought it was just pretty interesting. So I thought I would show you. As I continue to train, as I continue to train for the Adventure Racing Project, we will talk more about how our bodies work and how exercises work and all that kind of stuff. If you have any questions, I want you to send them to the email address at the bottom of the screen right here, and I will answer them in a video. You can ask your parents' permission to send me an email, and I will make a video about it. I'm so proud of you for making a choice to spend your time here with me and for living the curious life, but I got to keep training. I'll see you later.